first of all, welcome. It's so great to see all of you here. New faces, lots of old friends. Each one of you has a story to tell. Each one of you has something to add to this dialogue. And I ask you today to join us as we journey, take this journey together. This morning, we are lucky to be joined by a champion for all children, including for those children whose voices aren't always heard. Someone who knows how very important it is to serve youth well, since he's been a youth services librarian himself. It was just a little over a year ago that ALA announced that he received the Sullivan Award for Public Library Administrator Supporting Service to Children. A man I'm proud to work for, but also proud to have at the helm of the library in the city I love so much. Please welcome San Francisco City Librarian Luis Herrera. Thank you, Meredith. Um, what a rousing crowd. I'm actually very inspired and um, heartwarmed by uh, your presence here. It's full house, and uh, I'm always thrilled to welcome children's librarians, school librarians, uh, for very, very special reasons. First of all, I started as a school librarian many, many years ago in my own middle school, uh, and then I went into the public library uh, realm. Uh, so I just have this commitment uh, to ensure that we support uh, services to children. And I want to let you know that this is an opportunity for me to thank you um, on behalf of all the library administrators and electeds and all the mucky mucks out there that really um, own a special debt of gratitude for the work you do. I believe very strongly that uh, children's librarians, youth librarians, are the best uh, conveyors of our narrative in libraries. You are the storytellers. You are the ones that make those connections uh, with our community. And so I commend you for that. Um, and really, it's, it's what you do sets the standard for all of uh, librarianship. So keep up the great work. I also want to say that I'm very proud of our staff. Meredith, uh, all of you that have leadership roles in the ACL Institute, which dates back to 1930s, I found out. That's pretty darn impressive. And I think the, the caliber of the work and the importance of your work uh, certainly demonstrates uh, your commitment. But Kimberly Lauer, who is also in our staff, uh, Christina Mitra, Pat Tony, and all the others, I think I'm just very, very proud of you for your leadership role in putting this together. To the organizers, what a relevant uh, topic and theme. It can't come at a better time. Because I think you all agree that our nation is facing tremendous challenges in terms of social justice, equity, uh, issues where you know the have and have nots, the bridge and the gap uh, is even greater. And so we have to have those conversations. Uh, we have to have that dialogue in what better place than librarians and libraries and you to lead the effort. Uh, it's critically important that uh, libraries are in fact part of the solution to some of the issues that are facing our, our nation. Libraries in so many ways are the great equalizers, aren't they? And I think that we have to make sure that we set the tone and the expectation uh, for equity uh, and in everything we do, whether we're talking about collections that represent and reflect the diversity from a linguistic standpoint, from cultural competencies, um, to all the voices of authors that are not heard. So when I see Jacqueline and Maya and Aya and Melinda, it makes me very proud uh, that you're pushing the envelope to ensure that those voices are heard and heard loudly. I'm also very um, appreciative of the fact that as we evolve in our service delivery, that we continue to always have that core value of equity um, and that we push hard so that the administrators and the folks that dole out the funding always keep in mind the priorities of serving our communities. So with that, I just want to welcome you to the San Francisco Public Library. We're very proud of how we're evolving. Uh, you may hear some construction going on because as we speak, uh, actually in about two months, we're going to be opening The Mix, which is a wonderful digital media lab for our young people and youngsters that may not have access to all that's happening in the tech world. 
but hopefully this will in fact be that wonderful equalizer. Um, and we welcome you also in June as host of the American Library Association Conference. So with that, have a wonderful day, wonderful time, and enjoy your, your stay. Thank you. Thank you.